Well, tonight, Congress is grappling with how to regulate tech companies to protect your personal information. As Fox 16's Jessica Smith reports, lawmakers in the nation's capital looked at California and European privacy laws to find out what's working and what's not. After a series of high-profile data breaches and privacy scandals, lawmakers say they've had enough. It is increasingly clear <laughs> that industry self-regulation in this area is not sufficient. Republican Senator John Thune and the Commerce Committee are working to figure out what federal data privacy rules should look like. On Wednesday, lawmakers heard from experts about Europe and California's new privacy laws. We need to get this right. The hearing comes just days after we learned about a security flaw that exposed hundreds of thousands of Google Plus users' personal information. The company found and fixed the problem back in March, but did not disclose it. Deliberate concealment is absolutely intolerable. The European regulations require companies to report a data breach to authorities within 72 hours. The laws also give consumers more control of their data. The federal government has fallen behind the curve in protecting digital security rights. Senator Tammy Duckworth says the U.S. needs to catch up, Discussion but some Republicans, privacy. including Senator Todd yes. Young, are worried about over-regulation. Do you have concerns that startups in particular might suffer? The experts said U.S. businesses and consumers Consumers will benefit from clarity. A clear, simple standard for U.S. companies to know what they are allowed to do. Duckworth pointed out U.S. companies that operate in the EU already have to comply with European regulations. The sky has not fallen in Silicon Valley. The experts warned new technology will bring new security threats and U.S. laws need to keep up. In Washington, I'm Jessica Smith. There have been four data breaches in 2018 so far. Believe it or not, the Facebook data breach affecting more than 50 million people, it's not the largest. In June, the website MyHeritage exposed the information of more than 92 million people. The cause of that breach still hasn't been determined. All told this year, more than 168.5 million people have been affected by a data breach this year alone. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's scary. That's a big.